hello my lovely so the last august favorite you guys really like so i thought i'll do another september favorite because i've been some people have been asking me about it so um i have a few things that i've been really enjoying on this uh, month of september and i thought i'll share them with you so the first one that i wanted to share is these little clips i don't know what they're really called um the package i got from my local station store say gold wire packs so i'm just gonna do, um so i'm just gonna stick with that i guess and call it gold wire packs um what i like about it is that it looks really cute against my passport pages let me open one and um, I usually use it to keep it open. I usually use uh, like a wire, uh, what do you call this, like a binder clip to keep pages open when I take pictures and so it looks a little bit cuter, something like that. And I have been really liking how minimal this is. The only complaint I have about it is the color is very like bright gold and I tend to like rose shade. I mean rose gold shade or say something more vintage like a brown bronze vintage look maybe something like this but you know just for now it's okay it's functional and it looks kind of cute don't you think so I'm fine with it but I really like how it keeps it open I got mine on my local stationery store, which is called Office Works. But I feel like you can probably get it on like a local stationery store or arts and craft store, maybe. So hopefully, there's a place in your area that actually sells this because this has been very useful and very cute. Okay, that's my first favorite. My second favorite is. Uh, washi tape and you know how much I love washi tape so I don't think you're surprised that it made up to my list so this is another yohaku washi tape and I know I've talked about it about yohaku for my last favorite video but this I thought this one I'll just show you one because this one is the one I have been using a ton so I think this is the 35 um, number 35 Yohaku washi tape and I got them from journal pages and I really love the the shades of like the white and the, the um the black and the kind of like a beigey light brown kind of tone it really matches lots of my aesthetic and my journal spreads so I've been using it a ton and if you ever want to try a Yohaku washi tape and not sure which one to get but you only have budget for one and you kind of have a similar aesthetic as me you like spreads in like white black and um, brown I really really recommend this one this washi tape um, it's number 35 and journal pages sells it it's still in stock right now I think but things in journal pages never stay in stock for long so if you ever want it then you should get it quickly just saying so that's my second favorite my third one is a stamp and this is by Pan Fang as you can see I like stamps that looks like labels. Hang on, let me stamp it for you to see what it looks like. So the um, it looks like a I don't I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like a half magazine cover, half scribblings. But I really like the look of it. There you go. Isn't that really really delightful? Ooh. So, um, the other thing that I like to do with my label stamps is to stamp it on paper. Hang on, let me find it. Like that. So, with me, I have this kind of 
fear whenever I use stamps that it's gonna ruin my um, spread because sometimes I kind of stamp it wonk, wonky and it's off center or if sometimes with some stamps when it has the edges like the ink will get to the edges and then it'll kind of like ruin my spread so I like to sometimes cut it into like stamp it on different paper and then cut it like this so that way I can like just paste it on a spread and I can move it anywhere I want or what I also like to do is to send this to my pen pals or as freebies for my shop um, so that's why I've been really enjoying kind of stamps that lets me do that this this one the ones with like frames on it are actually the best ones for me anyway because they're easy to cut through and then sometimes it kind of looks like like a sticker or like a label thing like from classic or something like that so that one has been one of my favorite this month so and another one another favorite um, my fourth favorite is another set of stamps as well this is the JNL um, in the wild one I got the in the wild two a few months ago and I really loved it and I've been eyeing this but I've been telling myself that no you don't need any more floral stamps because I've gotten a lot already and on her last pen pal mail, Maddie um, has sent me lots of samples of this stamp set on vellum and it looks so nice. It just and then then and there I was like, you know what? I really need to get it. Well I didn't regret my purchase because I've been using it non-stop since I get it. And plus they actually um are really cute for orders as well so I stamp them on the, the kind of um what do you call it it's like this wrapping thing I use for my journals so I'll just stamp them for you so you can see the results these are very nice because it's quite a delicate stamp and JNL is always really good with stamps that are very delicate this is also very minimalistic because there's no kind of like line work or anything and it's just like what do you call that? it's basically like lines and yeah it's just really minimalistic but it looks nice everywhere so I've been using it a ton mm -hmm. um, my fifth favorite, I think, is this pen. It's a. This is actually my all-time favorite brush pen. The it's the Pentel Fooded Touch. On uh, what color is this? This is like a light ochre, light brown kind of color, yellow pink. That color, basically, yellow brown kind of color but I've been using it a lot for orders because the color is I've been really into the colors so and um, what I also like about these pens are it's flexible enough for you to write on it's it's not overly flexible that it's hard to control your brush but it's also not hard enough that you have to press really hard and ruin your pens so it's and the color is really nice the color is kind of it matches lots of my spreads so I really like that so that's another one and my sixth one is this clear stamp set. So I went to Daiso a few weeks ago and saw this in the shelf. And I know I had to get it because it has bubble tea and a thank you stamp. 
and it has these really cute frames as well like an, uh, and a banner kind of thing um, they had three on my local day so but this one was the one that grabbed my eyes I think the rest are kind of cutesy and doesn't match my aesthetic but I'm probably gonna go back and have a look um, but I was really excited to see this in the shelf because even our local day so it's a bit it's quite big for me but they don't sell a lot of like cute stationeries like when I um, in my career trip I actually visited a day over there and they, asked, they have a ton of really nice and cute stationeries like they have a whole wall of washi tapes whereas in my local doi so we probably get like half a shelf of it or something like that. small like that so um half a shelf as in not like this is a shelf and this is the half that has washi tape so it's not like we have a lot of selection but i've been really enjoying this the, the thank you one actually lives in my acrylic block because I like to stamp them for orders like on my, on my envelope <laughs> look at this isn't that cute? I feel like it'll brighten my day if I get that on an envelope on an order so I started putting that into the envelope of my orders um, but I figured uh, I haven't used much of it, so maybe I shouldn't really, it shouldn't really be here, but I've been really enjoying this stamp. But I thought I'll let you guys know because this Daiso all over the world, and if my little Daiso that doesn't get in a lot of stationaries can actually get something like this, I'm hoping it'll reach yours quite soon, and maybe you can grab one as well. Because the quality of this is actually quite decent, and for. On, in Australia, they sell it for two dollar eighty Australian dollars, which is probably like two dollar something for the U.S. dollars. But I hope it arrives to yours soon because I've been really happy that I can find this in a dice. So that's my. I lost count. How many favorites did I do? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this must be my sixth so my last favorite is not even I don't even know if I should include it for now because I haven't actually used it yet but I got this a few weeks ago from Muji and it's a free schedule which is an undated kind of like planner so it has the monthly and it has the weekly and it's they don't have any dates on it so you write your own date so that's really nice for people that tend to abandon their um, planners in the middle of the year like me and so I'll feel less guilty if I reuse it for the next year so because you say paper and so I'm planning to use this as a replacement of my bullet journal this section anyway because that's what I use for my bullet journal and um, for the weekly I'm planning to use to replace my passport insert with it maybe because I really actually like filling in that passport insert which is and journaling like little bits and pieces so it'll, it might evolve what I use with this but it's probably going to be keeping track of things and maybe this side is probably for to-do list and maybe like a highlight of my week or something like that but I like the way that they do have the weekly and the monthly look and some great pages and it's fairly not, not expensive I think if I remember correctly but um, I'll I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I'll have a look and I'll let you know in the comments or I'll put a text somewhere. Um, no, I'm going to get questions about the cover. So this uh, Hobonichi A6 cover that I got in AliExpress probably like around two years ago. So before I was into Travel Net notebook, I 
was planning to um, I was trying out some Hobonichi covers I didn't actually get the Hobonichi because Hobonichi is back um, I, I keep seeing the one that you have to fill in every day and my life's not that interesting to be filling my journal up every day so I got it for kind of like I don't know some journaling stuff but it's nice to actually finally be able to use it because I actually really like this pattern um, with Hobonichi covers you actually can get a plastic sleeve to protect it which for this cover I actually wouldn't go anywhere without a plastic sleeve because if I spill anything on it I'm just gonna cry because this is a really nice pattern unfortunately because it's been two years ish and when I got it it's already like running out quite quickly so I don't think you can get this exact pattern anymore but um, if you search up A6 Hobonichi covers on the Aliexpress website I'm pretty sure there's some other covers you might like I feel like these days they might just have like pastel colored ones but also if you visit the Hobonichi website they have a lot of like pattern and cute um, covers you might like so yeah this actually has um, what do you call it? a pocket at the back as well but because of this plastic sleeve I can't actually use it which I'm pretty bummed about but anyway that's a really nice cover I thought I'll let you guys know because I feel like I'm gonna get questions that, and unfortunately can't get it anymore so um that's all of my favorites this month thank you for watching i feel like it's it's getting longer so hopefully you don't mind me rambling a little bit but i hope you're staying safe and taking care and i'll see you on the next one bye bye